Hey everybody and welcome to the last episode of any, 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 any? I know, H100. Well, you know what, I'll leave the intro in because it's basically me failing in this episode quite a bit because as you may notice, the game is sped up by uh, two times. You will at least no notice that pretty quickly. Reason being is I messed up entirely. I completely recorded when I came home because I only had an hour left before, before the beta ended. And I was rushing so hard that I somehow forgot to... Yeah, I somehow forgot to um, click the little box where it says record your voice and the sound. And what I did is I only recorded the image. Since I was building a few things in the last episode off screen, but I still recorded it to make like the review later on. Um, and yeah, I'm just really bummed at the moment. I'm really sorry I can't deliver a proper let's play as the last episode. But at least you get a little bit more of process in a little bit less time. Uh, maybe this is like a little bit of a good thing. As you can see on the screen right now, I made a little attempt on building a bit more off-grid. I don't even know if you can call it off-grid. It is definitely something that I want to try a bit more once the game is finally released. I definitely want to make sure that I get a, get a little idea of how I can you know, use the tools available to a max. As you can see right now, I'm showing off something with the key, because the key really is um, working on a diagonal level. And I, I don't know if it is somehow possible, but it would be awesome that we could maybe at one time have the same behavior with the pass. That would be awesome. I don't even know if that would make sense uh, in terms of how the buildings lay out, because the buildings can't really rotate 45 degrees, but at least this little bit would give us a bit more freedom to build more beautiful. So I was trying a few things here and there to make sure that I at least can show you something yeah, a bit more creative than only improving the cities, and yeah, well, that's it. And you can also see that we changed the harbor uh, entirely, like there are a few things changing in the harbor area, which I think is really important to have. However, it um, it never got to the point that I was really happy um, that it could be really like a, a super awesome eye catcher. So this is all like performance oriented let's play, but once the game is out finally, it definitely is going to be a creativity and a building styled uh, heavy gameplay for once. And I'm going to do another with um, the highest difficulty level that really hopefully gets us into, you know what, um, just do how the best thing we can do, right? Like, let's be completely focused and performance oriented, uh, oriented and uh, do whatever we can do to achieve the best um, and quickest way in playing Anno. And the other one will be pretty relaxed, pretty chill down and pretty much uh, looking at efficiency while having it look great. I think that's something I really want to do and I believe I'm going to make a little bit of a poll what you guys want to see first before we go then into the performance oriented or other way around. I don't know if you if you enjoy um, having a performance heavy difficulty um, related gameplay. I'm also willing to do that. Why not? But yeah, there are just so many things in here I want to try and uh, even though I had a little bit more time to play the beta than um, most of you, which I'm still very thankful uh, to, for example, um, not for example, sorry, I'm just losing track here. I was just missing out on a few frames and I was a bit confused. Um, yeah, still a big thanks to Ubisoft for giving me the opportunity to play this a bit earlier. And I think it really paid back because you guys were really awesome, really supportive, um, really making the best thing out of it for me because your feedback was awesome. Um, the views actually were pretty decent for a game that has nothing to do with Planet Coaster at all. So yeah, I'm I'm super, 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 super happy that all of you made it work, that all of you, you stick with me and uh, feedback all the time. And I don't know, we, we just were all so curious to see what this game can deliver. And yes, there are still a few things to fix, definitely. Uh, this game is not perfect by no means, but this is also why they made the beta and to make sure that we can at least give some more feedback on various topics. And I think it's really awesome that they you know, did this and I also think that it really was necessary. So I'm I'm happy they moved the game again and they postponed it again. Um, there is a tad bit of polishing needed here and I think this is something you really should keep in mind. And yeah, I'm hoping that this episode is not too boring for you because I really feel like uh, making this as a speed build. This is also like a little test. It's not working. Um, we are definitely going to have a let's play here. Um, 
yeah, the good thing though is I I found some awesome animals um, on another expedition in the end of this episode, which I don't really know if they're in, but at least I will put down some screenshots then at the end so that you can have a glimpse of these awesome animals or maybe some little frames of me moving the camera while having some music and that should be it. I'm also a bit, you know, a bit bummed that I didn't really, you know, at least I could have recorded the sound of the game, but I haven't. So this is why I need to put in some random orchestral uh, medieval music, which is not even fitting. Um, the soundtrack, by the way, of Anno 1800 is awesome, but I, I couldn't find um, the the track or music pieces, um, I w else I would have put them in, but I couldn't find them. So you have to deal with what I have right now. Yeah, uh, then we also unlocked the museum, which is awesome because I haven't built that beforehand. And the cool thing about the museum is, um, what I didn't know, it connects with the zoo next to it. So if you build them right next to each other, people will move across from uh, the museum to the zoo and vice versa. Which is awesome because it, it really gives you the, the, the chance to make it look good, but also be efficient. Mm -hmm. When we're going to do another Let's Play in two months time, I'm really also willing to leave a space in the middle of the city that can be used for the zoo and the expedition, uh, exhibition I want to say, the museum. The exp exhibition is going to be later in the game as well. And uh, yeah, also made sure to unlock some uh, electricity already in the new world, which I was a bit I was a bit confused that this is now only working in the new world. I was about to think that you can at least transfer this to the old world, but I believe it might be in the last um, in the last uh, step, last level of your inhabitants. I really think that this is something I'm more curious to see in the future. Also, if there will be a snow biome, I don't even know. I mean, we we can see um, a snow biome on the world map, but I'm I'm not quite sure if we can go there at one time. I'm I'm strongly hoping so. I'm I'm really hoping so, but I. I have no clue at all. Maybe there is even information about this already. If so, I haven't seen that. So that's as easy as this. But yeah, as you can see, I'm also trying to prepare some ships for some more exhibition uh, expeditions. Damn it, my my English is completely broken today. Completely, like like seriously, completely broken. If you want to experience that live, by the way, the moment this video is online, I should be live um, on my Twitch channel, uh, but with Planet Coaster. So if you are here for Anno and you still like my Let's Plays, whatever, um, I can only highly recommend to jump over to Planet Coaster as well, because it's always a very chilled, relaxed stream um, with a lot of awesome people in the chat. And uh, yeah, it's it's just really laid down and uh, laid back. <laughs> laid down? What? <laughs> laid back. But as you can also tell from this voiceover, my English is broken today. I wanted to use another word, but I, I keep it family friendly for the moment at least. And I I still want to also mention what I'm doing here. I'm just filling the ship to make sure that we check as many boxes as possible. For whatever reason, um, a glass seems to be the right trigger to trigger the um, hunting. I have no clue why though. I, I, I mean, why is glass good for hunting? Is it, I mean, where's the reason for it? I mean, this is, th these are little bits and pieces. I mean, th that could be improved. Why Why glass? Ma make it at least a little bit more somewhat logical. Th th I don't know, it's maybe make it, you know, a trading piece you need to get from, from, from another trade office or whatever, um, or I don't know, at least weapons or whatever. Would that make sense? And, and make naval power only by a captain? I don't know. I At least I found this really, really confusing. Uh, also, many other things do influence um, stuff on, on the expedition. So, for example, bread and, and like all the food is definitely important uh, for the, um, the rations and weapons are important for naval power. Okay, that's as far as I can go and I understand this, but like various things have various effects, which I, I didn't find any logical explanation for what they're used for. So, I don't know, it's it's a little bit weird. But hey, at least um, the expeditions are a very new thing, which is awesome. And I am really glad they implemented this here, since it, it really adds to the gameplay. Uh, even though I have to say, um, it, for the Let's Play, it's also pretty, pretty, pretty hard to always read that out. And like, it's every few minutes, so it's a bit, it's a bit weird. Um, but it, it does work, so I... I 
I won't complain about this too much. And I also don't want to move too much into my review because I'm going to make a dedicated video on that. So that, you know, this makes actually more sense, I guess. But yeah, um, a few things I learned and also according to your comments and stuff, um, I was always questioning why my influence is gone. And you know what? I was just always using the newspaper to push positive messages to my inhabitants. Well, what I didn't see is that it didn't cost me money. I was guessed it was money, but at the end of the day, I was using influence points. And I was continuously questioning myself, where the heck are my influence points gone? Um, by the way, this is, this is one of the expeditions and I was about to think we are going to the Arctic biome now. We don't, before you guys are thinking of something else now. No, we don't, uh, we are not, um, but yeah, I was hoping already. Yeah, maybe to, to f slowly get into the last few minutes of this uh, video, I wanted to know from you guys, uh, how far have you gotten in into the gameplay or into the game in the beta? Have you reached the, the final stage available in the beta? Um, I haven't, for various reasons. I didn't really have that much time at hand, so I was at least happy to, to make the Let's Play go as far as we got. I was happy to, you know, try this out in various ways, but I wasn't able to go uh, further. and. I honestly, I would need, let's say, three to four to five more hours to get to the end stage, at least what the beta delivers. I don't even have a real idea. I, I heard from some people how far you can go, but there is like so much, so much left to do that I can't really say what that is about. And the cool thing is, this really is so much needed. Like. The, the end game, or like the um, endless game, I should say, of Anno was always the best part about it. And for some reasons in like the future ones, I don't really talk, want to talk about this too much, but the, the future ones weren't that great in an endless game anyways. Um, and Anno 1404, at a certain point in time, got very streamlined, very linear and very straightforward in terms of what you can see and whatnot. So, and what you can do, by the way, it's it's like always the same. And it, it was limited to the one world, right? It, it was just like the way it is. It, it got better with the Venice update and DLC. But at the end of the day, it needed some more stuff to make it better. And this happens with this game. And I can't really tell how far this will go. But adding two more biomes in the end, that would be awesome. But yeah, this should be it from my side. It's about the end of this episode. I'm just putting you some more um, cinematics in at the end of the video for, of, of my new um, animals and that should be it. I hope you enjoyed Anno 1800 and I'm sorry again for this weird episode at the end. Um, yeah, it was just me messing up so I hope you can deal with it. Anyways, I can't wait for the final release of the game. Until then, have an awesome day and I hope to see you in the next bit and episode and whatever video. So see you then and...